Hello brethren. We are glad you are here today during the 100 days prayer and fasting window. We are at the altar of solution in Zion prayer movement outreach, led by God's servant Ibuka Obi. The prayer ground is a Holy Ghost citadel of Ofesharofancha. Okwesharofancha. Omesharofancha. And Otisharofancha. Welcome to day 39 in 100 days fasting and prayer, Tuesday, June 25, 2024. Topic, God will fight for you. Scriptures from New King James Version verse we take on Exodus 14 verse 13 to 14, and Moses said to the people, Do not be afraid. Stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall see again no more forever. The Lord will fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. Isaiah 23 verse 17, And it shall be, at the end of seventy years, that the Lord will deal with Tyre. She will return to her higher, and commit fornication with all the kingdoms of the world on the face of the earth. Her gain and her pay will be set apart for the Lord, it will not be treasured nor laid up, for her gain will be for those who dwell before the Lord, to eat sufficiently, and for fine clothing. Isaiah 49 verse 24 to 26, Shall the prey be taken from the mighty, or the captives of the righteous be delivered? But thus says the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible be delivered, for I will contend with him who contends with you, and I will save your children. I will feed those who oppress you with their own flesh, and they shall be drunk with their own blood as with sweet wine. All flesh shall know that I, the Lord, am your Savior, and your Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob, we bless the reading of the Word of God. Meditation and Summary on Today's Scriptural Passages Child of God, the God who created you and brought you into being says variously in the scripture that he will fight all your battles and give you victory over your enemies. The scripture says in Matthew 24 verse 35. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will never pass away believe him. He will do it because he is capable. He is dependable and can never fail. In Isaiah 49 verse 25 to 26. The scripture says that he will fight against those that fight you and will make your oppressors kill each other, they will be drunk with murder and rage and give you victory. His promises are sure and unfailing. Before the end of this program, the Lord will fight your battles and give you victory over your enemies. Your enemies shall retreat, submit, surrender and be destroyed in the name of Jesus. We take on our prayer points 1 to 4. Prayer points number 1. Lord, by the power in your word, fight all my battles and grant me victory over my enemies in the name Jesus. Lord, by the power in your word, fight all my battles and grant me victory over my enemies in the name Jesus. Lord, by the power in your word, fight all my battles and grant me victory over my enemies in the name Jesus. 
Amen. Prayer points number two. My Father, by your mercy and power, honor your promises concerning me and my family in the name of Jesus. My Father, by your mercy and power, honor your promises concerning me and my family in the name of Jesus. My Father, by your mercy and power, honor your promises concerning me and my family in the name of Jesus. Amen. Prayer points number three. O Lord, by your mercy and power, grant me victory over my enemies, that they may know that I serve the living God whom they have defiled, by the order of David. O Lord, by your mercy and power, grant me victory over my enemies, that they may know that I serve the living God whom they have defiled, by the order of David. O Lord, by your mercy and power, grant me victory over my enemies, that they may know that I serve the living God whom they have defiled, by the order of David. Amen. Let us say your night web dia ha. Who we cook up for the yaka? Who so? Who so? Who so? Who so? Who so? Who so? Who Onye di mozina madu nekele, onu fere yaka. Onye di mozina madu na bisha na ye. Mozitia, who Prayer point number four. Brethren, pray according to Psalm 122 verse 6, for the peace of our spiritual director, evangelist Abuka Obi and Zion Prayer Movement Outreach, they shall prosper that love thee. It is important according to Ephesians 6 verse 19, and for God's servant, that utterance may be given to him, that he may open his mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which he is an ambassador in chains, that in it he may speak boldly, as he ought to speak. For that reason, in Philippians 1 verse 19 for he know that through our prayers and God's provision of the Spirit of Jesus Christ what has happened to him will turn out for his deliverance. We intercede as it is written in Colossians for verse 3 and pray for Zionites, also, that God may open a door for our message, so that we may proclaim the mystery of Christ, for which we are in battles. We invoke the throne verdict from the book of Isaiah 44 verse 25, Jehovah who frustrated the tokens of the liars, against those who satanically use Zion prayer movement outreach as their full-time business, and God makes the diviners mad, he turned wise men backward, and makes their knowledge foolish. Again, in Job 5 verse 12 he disappointed the devices of the native doctors and crafty that speaks against brother Abuka Obi, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise, let God arise and scatter every conspiracy from the heavenliest and from the water that rages against God's servant and his ministry, in the name of Jesus, Amen. Almighty God! According to your word in Deuteronomy 33 verses 26 to 27, there is no one like the God of brother Abuka Obi, who rides the heavens to help his servant, and in his excellency on the clouds. The eternal God is prophet Abuka's refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms, he will thrust out the enemy from before Zion prayer movement outreach, 
and will say, destroy. Again Father, your word says in Psalms 105 verse 15, saying, touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm. We decree and declare. O you that troubled the ministry of Evangelista Booker Obi and Zion Prayer Movement Outreach Ministries, the God of fire and thunder shall trouble you today, in the name of Jesus. Our Heavenly Father, your word said in, Zechariah 2 verse 5, For me, says the Lord, will be a wall of fire all around Zion Prayer Movement's premises, and I will be the glory in her midst. Now we pray that every enemy of the Zion Prayer Movement Outreach Ministry scatter, in the name of Jesus. O oh God of Zion Prayer Ministry Outreach! You have challenged us in your word, Isaiah 41 verse 21 that we should present our case, says the Lord. And we should bring forth our strong reasons, says the King of Jacob. We therefore pray according to Isaiah 8 verse 9 Associate yourselves, O ye people of Antichrist, and ye shall be broken in pieces, and give ear, all ye of far countries, gird yourselves, and ye shall be broken in pieces, gird yourselves, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Take counsel together, and it shall come to naught, speak the word, and it shall not stand, for God is with Zion prayer movement outreach. Trust in God concerning the treachery of friends in ministry. To the spiritual director. With stringed instruments. A contemplation of Prophet Abuka Obi, Selah. According to Psalm 55 verses 12 to 14, he prayed. For it is not an enemy who reproaches me, then I could bear it. Nor is it one who hates me who has exalted himself against me, then I could hide from him. But it was you, a man my equal in the evangelical movement, my companion and my acquaintance. We took sweet counsel together and walked to the house of God in the throng. O God of Zion Prayer Ministry Outreach! In your word Psalm 109 verse 28, let them curse, but you bless, when they arise, let them be ashamed, but let your servant brother Abuka Obi rejoice. In Psalm 112 verse 10, the wicked will see Zion prayer movement outreach flourished and be grieved, they will gnash their teeth and melt away, the desire of the wicked social media shall perish, in the name of God of Ofa Sharafantia, Okwa Sharafantia, Oma Sharafantia, and O.T. Sharafantia. Amen. Hallelujah! Also our Father, your word said in Matthew 15 verse 13, said, Every plant which my heavenly Father has not planted will be uprooted. O oh God, arise and uproot anything you did not plant inside the Zion Prayer Movement Outreach Ministries, in Jesus' name. Amen. According to 2 Corinthians 1 verse 20, For all the promises of God in him are yes, and in him amen, unto the glory of God by Zion Prayer Movement Outreach. Father, we pray like your prophet Jeremiah 17 verse 18, Let them be ashamed who persecute prophet Abuka Obi, but do not let him be put to shame, let his enemies be dismayed, but do not let him be dismayed. Bring on his enemy the day of doom, the day of calamity, the day of disaster, and destroy them with double destruction. For it is written, 2 Thessalonians 1 verse 6, Since it is a righteous thing with God to repay with tribulation those who trouble Zion prayer movement outreach. We pray now, let the fire of Holy Ghost and revival fall upon Zion Prayer Movement Outreach Ministries, in the name of Jesus, our Father in heaven, according to your word in Psalm 27 verse 11, teach your servant brother Abuka Obi your way, Lord, lead him in a straight path because of his enemies. Heavenly Father! In your word, Numbers chapter 6 verse 23 to 26, you spoke to your servant prophet Abuka Obi and his congregations all over the world, saying, this is the way you shall bless the children of Zionites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you, the Lord make his face shine upon you, and be gracious to you, for the Lord lift up his countenance upon you, and give you peace. So they shall put my name on the children of Zionites, and I will bless them as their God. Amen. Brethren we conclude our prayer point number 4 according to Galatians 6 verse 17 to 18, from henceforth let no man trouble Zion prayer movement outreach, for we bear in our body the marks of the Lord Jesus. Brethren, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus, <laughs> Jesus,
Brethren, Prayer Effective Prayer Book, page number 27. Prayer for Divine Security and Victory Over Enemies. Who can battle with the Lord? I say nobody. On this day, Lord, I call upon you for divine wisdom, grace and power to conquer all enemies around my life. Enemies that roar about my life, business and family, to destroy them, enemies that disguise themselves as angels of light, enemies of my progress. Father as they stand up every day to do any evil against me, let all their plans be frustrated, because your word says in Isaiah 54 verse 15, that they shall surely gather together, not by me, whomsoever shall gather against me shall fall for my sake. As they go about trying to locate me for evil, may they miss their directions in Jesus' name. Amen. I stand on the word of God that says, If God be for me, nobody will be against me, Romans 8 verse 31. And your word also says in Isaiah 54 verse 14, that I will be far from every oppression of my enemies. Unknown enemies waiting to hunt me or my family down, may they be disgraced in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, surround me and my family with your fire. Let your fire be a wall around us wherever we go. Let it become a divine security against all evil powers of darkness. Amen. Lord, let my life and family be hidden in the divine security of your name, for your name is a strong tower to which the righteous run and is safe. Thank you, Jesus. Please brethren, see the prayer script in the description below and subscribe our channel and share to your friends and family. See you on tomorrow's prayer and fasting. May the Lord bless you and keep and cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you and loved ones. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Please brethren, see the prayer script in the description below and subscribe our channel and share to your friends and family as it is written in Psalm 68 verse 11, King James Version, that the Lord gave the word, great was the company of those that published it. Our YouTube channel does not represent the ministries in any way, or speak on their behalf but the spiritual director, have many times encouraged lovers of kingdom of God to propagate the gospel of Savior Jesus Christ, and our channel don't solicit funds of any kind. See you on tomorrow's prayer and fasting. May the Lord bless you and keep and cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you and loved ones. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and hallelujah. Shall we call the house of prayer? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Talk less. Talk when it's important. Read your Bible more. Pray and listen to him more. Have a good rapport, relationship with him. Before the crusade, you will be surprised what will happen. Remember that our fasting is coming to an end gradually. Now you should talk less and listen more to the Holy Spirit. Sometimes at this dying minute, the enemy tempts people of God to spoil what they started for a long time. And I have told you before, even if you have fell, start today. We still have almost 28 days or 29. Be serious right now. I've tested this God who speaks to me all the time about people's case. I've tested and know he's good. Talk less. 
talk when it's important. Read your Bible more. Pray and listen to him more. Have a good rapport, relationship with him. Before the crusade, you will be surprised what will happen. I told you before, some people will receive their own miracles instantly. Some people have received already. They will still receive some people after the program. Everybody's timeline is not the same. 